Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a package manager for Windows. So let's get started. Now we all know that Windows lacks of software center, much like you have on Ubuntu. Windows really lacks something like that where everything is all in one place and you can see what you need to update and what you need to click on just to install without having to go through 9,000 web pages. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today, which is called Chocolate Tea. Chocolate? Chocolate. Yeah, anyway. All the software that we're talking about today will be linked down in the description below. So remember to check that out. So let's begin. Now, if you notice, uh, I, this is a fresh install of Windows 10. And if you guys follow my stream from yesterday, you would see me actually install it from you know, my stream. You see, this is actually a Linux install. On top of that, I have my QEMU. So anyway, to get back into it, we have our little package manager. Now I know Windows has been trying really hard to get their software center to work properly, which I got to give them credit. It has been doing pretty good because before it didn't have a lot of the applications. Like if I was to look for putty back then, it wouldn't come up. So if I was to type in putty, uh, now there is some stuff. There's the un unofficial version that you could download or you could pay 99 cents to get the official version. And if you go over to search and you type in say something else, uh, 7-zip, that's another program I install all the time. Whoops, 7-zip. Um, they do have it over here, but they only have the unofficial version. But there are some good sides to using the Microsoft Store, namely downloading Netflix or Hulu and stuff like that. And that's the only reason why I would use the Microsoft Store. And if you guys didn't know, in order to get high quality playback off Netflix or Hulu or all the other services, you have to install the application through the store. So if you got like the premium account for say Netflix, which you get 4K and all that stuff, it doesn't work through the browser. It only works through the, uh, the Microsoft Store, just if you guys didn't know. Anyway, the software that we're gonna be installing is called Chocolate, and it's a all-in-one package manager, much like you would find on Ubuntu, which is their software center. And you can find basically everything here. And it eliminates the process of trying to download software from 9,000 websites that you have to travel to. So if I wanted Notepad++, I would have to go to notepad++.org. Or if I wanted Putty, I would have to go to putty.org, like all these websites just to download all the software. The worst part of it is, is not that I have to go to all these websites to download it officially, but it's to keep up to date. So there are a lot of software out there that won't tell you that there's a new version release or some of them do like no plus 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 would like actually nag you saying like hey there's a new version download it but like putty or something like that even though it hasn't been updated as frequent but say putty they don't tell you hey there's a new version that you got to install right away so which leads to this package manager now how do you install it it's super simple it's actually one line script where i could just go over here copy this right and i could go over to powershell run as administrator because it has to use administrator to install and then I just need to paste the link let me copy it again and oh, edit paste hit enter now it's going to install that software for you and that is it what you have just now installed is the CLI version or the command line version of Chocolate. So all you have to do is C-H-O-C-O -O, and then you could do install and whatever application you want to install. Now I can't deal with it because I, I can't deal with this because I can't remember every application I want to install and exact name that I want to or the exact name it's called. So what you would have to do is let me get out of this and search for an application called Choco latte gooey and it'll actually bring me to this disclaimer page no it'll actually bring me to this gooey now this is the line that i want to copy and paste copy this to clipboard Control v to paste it's going to ask you it's going to install so now we should have a software that's called choco latte gui hit yes and there we have it the gooey version now, all we have installed right now is the core, the GUI, and Chocolate, and .NET because it needed to run this GUI version, so the .NET got installed. So if I wanted to install so new software, I go to Chocolate. I'm just gonna call it Coco or Choco. I, I think I'm saying it wrong. I'm pretty sure I am. 
So this is the top list that is on, you know, that everybody downloads. And you can see how many times people downloaded it. So if you want to Chrome 81, I can just right click this and hit install. Now this is all going to be saved in one location on your list. So if you wanted to hit update, you could just hit update and update everything together. Now, once I'm done installing this, which will give it a second. And if you want to look at the command console version, like I'll show you what it's downloading, what it's installing, what language, and it all gets downloaded and installed into program data slash chocolate, I think. All right, guys, and here we have it. Look, it created the desktop icon. It got the start menu group. If I go back to this PC over here, you could see now I have Chrome version 81. And if there's a later version or a newer version, it'll actually say it right here. And you could actually hit update to update all. Now, if I wanted more applications, not just that, say like Notepad++, again, or 7-zip, right click, install, and it'll install 7-zip for me. Within seconds, I would have that software. What's cool is you can actually export. Actually, let me go back out. I think I have to go to this PC and I could save this list, export this list, import it into another computer and have the same software load it up into the another computer if you have chocolate installed. So now that I have 7-zip installed, if I right click on a file, uh, maybe am I working on this? Yeah, there you go. 7-zip is here and I could extract files if I want. If I want to install Notepad++, I could install. There's tons of software and now I don't have to constantly reach other websites. And like I said, my biggest problem wasn't reaching the big, uh, websites. It was more keeping up to date. Uh, I wasn't able to keep up to date with all the software that I installed. Again, you go to PC and it'll tell you what version it is, how far how far you're behind, and you click one button and it'll update all the software down the list for you. This is a part of my new series that I'm starting called Top Guides or Top Tweaks or Top Software. I don't know, I haven't, it's a working title right now, so right now I'm just gonna call it Top Guides. So if you guys have a name suggestion for this type of video, please let me know. This falls right towards the categories of uh, the Ventoy uh, video that I made recently. Uh, this video is going to be on that list as well as another video that I'm planning to come up with which is Hiren's uh, Boot CD that will be coming soon and they have a couple of other software that I want to show you guys that will fall under this category. So I'm trying to come up with a clever name something that has to do with like Top Gear but that's just me. Well if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this hit it down in the comments below. And well, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.